Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So this is um, a teaching and a message quickly from God. Spiritual wickedness and witchcrafts is cut off and being recompensed. So in the season that we are in, um, witchcraft, black magic, spiritual wickedness, works of darkness, supernatural wickedness, invisible wickedness, psychological wickedness, secret works of wickedness, emotional wickedness, physical wickedness, ungodliness, manipulations, ritual wickedness, sacrifice wickedness, entrapments, ensnarements, snares, trap settings, spell work, and traps will not prosper in this season. Abib, April, New Year, New Beginnings. God wants you to know it's a new thing. He's doing a new thing in the earth. Not God is recompensing. And if you're doing any of those things that I just said, God is recompensing those who work wickedness. If they keep doing it, God will only be recompensing it upon their head. They only will be doing it to themselves. It will only backfire and manifest on them. So if they set a trap for you, it's only going to be set on them. It's not even going to touch you. If they send some spell work your way, it's not. It's just going to reverse back to sender back to sender to them because in this this new year this new beginning god is cutting off this the witchcraft micah 5 and 12 and i will cut off witchcrafts out of thy hand and thou shalt have no more soothsayers and i'll tell you the vision he gave me this week um somebody was trying to do spell work on me right and then i seen the father he put it back on them it didn't even catch me he just sent it back to them so he just made me like see them planning up and doing their witch work and their wickedness and then he just showed me that he put it on them and it didn't touch me and that he, he he's this is what he's doing in this season and he wanted me to share this message with you that not just to me to anybody who's with him God is with you. He won't leave you and he won't forsake you. Anyone who's in covenant with him, anybody who's walking with him, anyone who's serving him, anyone who's praising him, this, this stuff is not catching you. The people who are doing these kind of spiritual wickedness, it's only backfiring to them. This is the year of recompenses. So it's only happening to them. It's only going on them. I'm telling you, you should have seen these um, amount of wicked people band up in my vision, trying to do witch work against me. And I'm like, what is this? And you know what? I've seen more than 12 different YouTube content produced um, um, makers. God showed me them in, my, in, in, in dreams and visions, trying to steal my spiritual gifts, trying to come for me with witchcraft and sorcery and magic. And he just put it on them. That was in previous visions and things. But this one, this week, was about him just sending it back to sender it it's not going to catch you in this season he cut he's cutting off witchcraft and he's doing a new thing in the earth i don't want to hold you just talking too much about myself but let me get to the scriptures what he wants me to read to you and you can use this too if you ever feel like someone's trying to attack you but it's not just use these words because it's not working like god is recompensing them for all the witch work they've been doing all the sorcery and magic they've been doing all their mouth using their mouth putting their mouth on you for evil it's all going on them they're the ones who are manifesting these things it's only manifesting on them so this is a quick word for you to understand that um god is recompensing those working wickedness if they keep doing it God will only be recompensing it upon their head. They will only be doing it to themselves. It will only backfire and manifest on them. So, and Micah 5 and 12, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Job 4 and 8, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. This is their reaping season for all the wickedness they've been sowing. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. God is not mock, for whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. Ezekiel 9 and 10. So God's Ezekiel 9 and 10 in them. And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. 
and God is Psalms 94 and 23 in them. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Proverbs 28 and 10. Whosoever causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the righteous shall have good things in possession. Now, Job 5 and 12, he disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. That's what he's doing. He's disappointing them with their crafty works so they can't perform their enterprise against you. He's disappointing them in every way they come. Psalm 75, 7, chapter 7, verse 15 to 16. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Right? Um, Psalms 9 and 15 to 16. The heathen are stuck down in the pit which they made. In the net which they have hid is their own foot taken. Those who work in secret wickedness against you, they're fallen in all them nets. Psalms 9... And 16, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executes. So God is judge, judging them and executing his judgment upon them. The wicked is ensnared in the work of his own hands. Higian, Selah. Psalms 35 and 8, let destruction come upon him at unawares. And let his net which he has hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. So their wickedness, their nets is only catching them. In their, they're only falling in the destruction that they were trying to do to you. That's not catching you, period. Psalms 141 and 10. Let the wicked fall into their own nets. Will that I will escape. Psalms 64 and 8. Those who's been using their mouth on you for evil. Those who's been, you know, because you have life and death in the power of the tongue. So... You can still use this scripture when you hear people calling you evil names, when you hear people speaking against your life, your marriage, your children, just speaking against you evil because we have life and death in the power of the tongue. You speak blessings or you speak curses. You understand me? That's how powerful your words is. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. God made things and it manifested through his word and his word is living. So you have to use it, right? Psalms 64 and 8. So they they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So people talking crazy to you, gaslighting you, speaking evil onto you, are gaslighting you, trying to manipulate you because words are powerful. Use Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So you got to understand in this season, God is recompensing all this evil. That they've been doing and thinking that they could get away with secret works of darkness, spiritual wickedness, paying people to hurt you, going to, you know, witch doctors. All of them is getting recompensed because it's works of evil. You understand me? So stay blessed. I hope this kept you, you know, uplift your spirit to understand that God is executing judgment on those who's been working spiritual wickedness against you secret works of darkness against you it's not prospering in this season it's not prospering in this new year it's a new year it's a new beginning it's a new time it's it's things are changing he's doing a new thing in the earth all right beautiful people of god stay blessed you could take this up with fasting and praying and you know stay blessed take care i love you all